Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials and thanks again to all those, you know, regular viewers and regular subscribers for continuously supporting the channel. You guys are whew, super awesome. Now, this is the first episode of Raw Uncut. First unedited video, no edits, not like all the other videos where we spend a week and four days editing and all this crazy stuff. Today, we're here to talk about basically the advertisements inside of Facebook Quest. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, first of all, the other call came out on Upload VR and also Boz, the guy from, you know, Facebook Reality Labs, um, basically said that, you know, they're experimenting, they're gonna roll it out. Apparently, a couple of developers have been experimenting with some games where inside there'll be some ads. Now, why is this a big deal? Why do we need to pay attention to this? You know, take your cup of coffee, sit down, let's talk about it because it's really, really important. First of all, you need to understand if you're a Quest user, perhaps, you know, there's a lot of lack of education out there. First of all, they are being taken to court by more than 20 or so governments all over the world, including every single state in the US. Every single state in the US and God knows how many other governments all over the world for antitrust. Now, what does antitrust mean? It basically means that, you know, Facebook have been proven, it's been reported widely by various different publications, that they take your data in order to influence your buying habits and your lifestyle. Let me repeat, they take your data to influence your buying habits and your daily lifestyle. So basically what this means is that advertisers not just Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and all these kind of crappy brands, but also governments who are electing specific, you know, perhaps uh, presidents, or who are trying to do some kind of campaign of some kind for green or whatever it might be, uh, you know, basically means they can influence who you vote for. They can influence what you like, what you don't like, you know, all this kind of stuff, what kind of vaccine you should take, and all these kind of things. This can also influence, of course, what stocks you should invest in, what businesses you should back, you know, and, and also, of course, what kind of brands you should buy or what kind of products you should buy without even perhaps wanting to buy that product in the first place. And they do that subliminally without you even knowing it because they're able to take your data and predict your next movement before you even know it. So this is why it's a huge big deal because Facebook can now pull more than 2 million data points whilst you're in VR every 20 minutes. That's huge. And not just your data, by the way, the data of your parents, your friends, your loved ones, or whoever is around you when you're playing VR because the microphone and the cameras can pick up what's outside and also, you know, they can hear and they can see what's outside as well. So now what's going to happen is they're going to blast all these ads into your Facebook Quest you know, changing potentially your buying habits even further using the data that they've been able to mine whilst you're in VR and not just behind your computer. So if you had Viveport or Valve doing the same thing inside of VR, okay, it would be annoying because no one wants to see ads in the first place whilst you're playing the game. Who the fuck wants to see ads whilst you're playing the game? We want to be in VR so we can escape fucking life, all right? So, yeah, sorry, excuse my language. This is raw, unedited videos. So, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to be real here. We don't want ads to begin with. But secondly, this is really consequential because Facebook, they're a huge can of worms. No one fucking likes Facebook, to be honest with you. And why do you like Oculus? Why? Why are you so whoa, Oculus? Because Facebook are hiding behind the Oculus name. They made you think that Oculus is a different brand, but it is not. Facebook is owned by, it's run by Facebook. Okay, Oculus is Facebook. Don't be blinded. Don't be brainwashed. All right, take take off those goggles. The you know when you're drunk and you think the lady's pretty. You, you've you've watched How I Met Your Mother, right? You've you've watched all the episodes, right? You have the filters on. I'm telling you, if you're into quests and all this, and you think, wow, it's amazing. It's not. Facebook are not into VR to make you feel like you're having a good time. They're there to take your data so they can influence your buying and your lifestyle habits. And not just yours, everyone else, everyone else's, so they can basically control society and change things around so that it can suit them, so they can make money and grow. And you know, it's got nothing to do with you or me whatsoever. It is not HTC, it is not HP, it is not Pico, it is not Valve, it is not any of those brands. Facebook's strategy and business plan is very different 
That's why you should definitely either wait the next six months or eight months, just put down your quest, sell it, get rid of it. Seriously, it's poison. It's, I'm sorry, but it is, and you might not like hearing the truth. Who does? But it is. That is why I personally sold my nine quests. Nine quests, gone. We don't have any quests on the channel anymore. Last six months, believe me, we have suffered in views, in subscribers, in a whole bunch of different things. You know what? But I sleep peacefully at night knowing that we contribute to a society in making sure that nothing's been changed or manipulated in a way which is subliminal or done in a deceitful way or untrustworthy way. And more importantly, backing a brand that's been sued by 50 different states in the US and 20 more other governments all over the world for antitrust and also anti-competitive laws. Because, of course, what they do is they put up all these kind of things to try and take down anyone who tries to compete with them without giving them any form of oxygen whatsoever so they can even remotely have a chance to compete with them and give people choice in perhaps, you know, wanting to buy a different product that has a different kind of brand and different belief to Facebook. So guys, this is huge. Be very aware of what's going to happen the next two, three years. You will have a Facebook feed inside of your Oculus Quest. Believe me. And that is where they will also be able to make much more damage, not just from your Instagram feed, not just from your WhatsApp feed, but also from your Facebook feed. It's consequential. It's coming to the Quest. This is just Phase one of the ads coming out. Guys, I don't fucking trust Facebook whatsoever, but it's up to you what you do. I'll see you in the next unedited, raw, first cut video. Guys, thanks for your support. Take it easy. Ciao.